Another month, another Ford backtrack on EVs. Back in January, the story broke that Ford dealers weren't interested in becoming EV dealers because of the huge costs involved in doing so. Then Ford cut F-150 Lightning production and transferred some of those jobs to traditional petrol Bronco and Ranger models. Just a couple of months ago, Ford announced it was adjusting its EV strategy in the face of catastrophic losses from its electric division. And last month, Ford filed new patents for internal combustion engine technology, demonstrating that it had no intention of abandoning regular petrol and diesel. And now, in another welcome blow to the Biden administration's mad EV push, we have yet another announcement from the car giant, saying it will be delaying its all-electric SUV and instead prioritising hybrid development. Government mandates just can't beat market forces. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter X. We'll also take a look at some common sense from Stellantis in a minute. But first to Ford. And when EV fantasy collides with harsh reality, the big corporates make sure they defend their bottom lines. Ford to delay all-electric SUV to focus on offering hybrid vehicles across its lineup by 2030. The shift in EV plans is the latest for Ford and the entire automotive industry as adoption has been slower than expected and production costs remain high. Ford Motor is delaying production of a new all-electric three-row SUV as it shifts to offer hybrid options across its entire North American lineup by 2030. The Detroit automaker on Thursday said it will continue to invest in EVs, but it is postponing production of the large SUV at a plant in Canada from 2025 to 2027 to allow for the market to mature more. The shift in EV plans is the latest for Ford and the entire automotive industry, as adoption has been slower than many expected and production costs remain high. Ford last year said it would delay or cancel $12 billion in planned spending on new EVs due to the shifting market conditions, as well as challenges to profitably building and selling the vehicles. Obviously, the top brass still have to talk the talk regarding the transition to EVs, at least for the present, and so the usual flannel accompanies the announcement. As the number two EV brand in the US for the past two years, we are committed to scaling a profitable EV business, using capital wisely and bringing to market the right gas, hybrid and fully electric vehicles at the right time, said Jim Farley, Ford president and CEO. Our breakthrough next generation EVs will be new from the ground up and fully software enabled with ever improving digital experiences and a multitude of potential services. All I can say to this is, we'll see. As the market for EVs continues to dwindle, as I strongly believe it will, companies like Ford and GM will incrementally backtrack on their earlier bold commitments to electrification. Stellantis is also showing some much-needed common sense, with CEO Carlos Tavares going against the grain of full EV transition. Tavares, EVs not a one-size-fits-all mobility fix. Stellantis CEO says EV battery weight needs to be cut in half over the next decade with new chemistries that don't require such a huge amount of raw materials. Not everyone is convinced that electric vehicles are the global mobility fix of the future. Count Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares among those who have doubts that zero emissions models will work for everyone in every part of the world. We should move away from a dogmatic thinking where one size fits all, Tavares said Wednesday, at the Automakers Freedom of Mobility Forum. I don't think this is going to work. What I would like to add is that the current EVs can be a solution for some of our societies. Tavares said EV batteries will need a very significant breakthrough in terms of chemistry to cut their weight in half over the next decade. He said that the £1,000 of raw materials currently needed to create a battery pack doesn't look like a very reasonable outcome from an environmental perspective. The industry, based on new chemistries, needs to achieve in the next decade a breakthrough in terms of power density of the cells so that we reduce by at least 50% the weight and the raw material usage of EVs, Tavares said. I think that's on the way. Well, new battery tech is always five years away, like nuclear fusion, but at least it's refreshing to see some common sense injected into the debate both by Ford and Stellantis. And we will only see more of this in the future. It's essential for these companies to survive. It's as simple as that.